In this Greylog tech series video, we're going to go over JSON extractors, quickly how to set them up, configure the extractors, and do some parsing. At first, we're going to go off and find a JSON knowledge pack. In this case, we're going to look for one from Nginx. If you go to our marketplace, you can find many of these already out there. I'm going to go ahead and click on this one, kind of scroll through some of the details of the README, different things it's going to give you, different outputs. And at the very bottom here, I'm going to find the configuration of what I need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and modify my Nginx configuration with these few lines here. One is the format of that data, and the other two are outputting that data into a syslog stream. And once that configuration is modified, we're going to go ahead and create a new input. In this case, it's going to be a syslog UDP creation. I'll make this a global node with the title of just Nginx uh, error log. I've already created an access log already. So I'll go ahead and create the error log. I'll change that port to some different port that I have. Go ahead and save that. Now once I create this new input, I'm going to add a few tags to that, as you can see down here. I'm going to have two tags on here. One's from Nginx, which is going to add a, an, another static field. And the other one there is going to be Nginx error or access logs, just so I can parse those later on and, and filter those out in different message streams. The other thing you'll notice in there is going to be the port numbers. They are two different ports based upon that configuration file before. If I go ahead and click on the showed receive messages now, you'll see that I have gotten a message in here. This message is completely unformatted. It's all put into the message field itself. So I'm going to come back in here and create a couple extractors to help me manage that. And the first one I'm going to do is go ahead and pull off the JSON format. I'm going to pull that out of a regex expression. So I'll create that regex expression. Just looking for Nginx with a space, and then I'm going to pull everything else past that and put that into a field. Go ahead and click Try. You'll see that it pulls out that right JSON format. I'm going to store it as a JSON field and give it a quick title here just to get the JSON field. So as I've created that one, it's so the first extractor, and then I want to go ahead and create a second extractor here as well. And that second extractor is going to take that JSON format that we just extracted out of the log and go ahead and start parsing all those fields out. So now you'll see here that that new log came in in the JSON format. Go ahead and click that flatten structures. Can I leave all the default values there? And then I'm going to give it a title. The default uh, values that are there are pretty universal with JSON. So we shouldn't have to create a lot of that unless you've customized those. Go ahead and try that. And you'll see now that all those fields have been pulled out automatically by taking the key value pair. So go ahead and save that one. Those do take effect immediately. Now if I come back into that same inputs, I can click on that show receive messages from that input. I'm going to open one of those up. So here are those new access logs coming in. You'll see that all the fields are parsed off with the destination addresses, the different sources, response bytes. All that's now formatted nice and easily. So JSON does create a nice quick format because of the layout of it to quickly make an extractor and get that data parsed off from various sources. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that helps explain a little bit about JSON format. Happy logging.